Hello, and welcome to, um, well, Carlin's Worlds. Yeah, that should work. I'm a wanderer, a tinkerer, sometimes a nomad, a military veteran. I do things differently. There will be tinkering. I have a motorcycle, a truck, and a school bus. I live off-grid, so there will be some solar, batteries, inverters, and maybe even some wind. It blows. And that's all I can fit into about 30 seconds. Oh, and please, if you like any of this, it would be really awesome if you could subscribe and click that notify bell. Drop a comment if you have any questions or ideas. Share, like, comment, subscribe, notify. Oh, and Patreon if you're really an awesome kind of person. Cool. On with the show already. So earlier, before I put this up, I got the first piece of skirting down here. And the... The reason for the skirting is just to keep the air from flowing under the bus, especially in the winter. I'm not really looking to keep anything out as far as the rats and the snakes and everything, but if I can reduce how much air wind blows under here in the winter, it'll be a lot warmer. So once I get these in place, I'm going to go along with dirt and just berm up the bottom edge. I built these wooden boxes and I jacked up the bus maybe an inch or so set these boxes in place there's one on each corner and then put the bus back down and that really stabilized it a lot so the bus doesn't move very much at all now part of the reason for that is i had last year i'd set up a shower on the other side of the bus and i bolted or screwed part of it to the bus and with the bus rocking in the wind, it actually broke the screws. So when I'm doing this skirting, even though I've stabilized the bus, it probably still is going to move a little bit. So instead of letting the skirting go all the way to the ground, I'm leaving a little gap. And then I'll berm it so it'll be kind of soft dirt that'll fill the gap. But if the bus moves a little bit, I'm hoping that it doesn't break the skirts. All right. This is the same thing you do for house trailers. It just keeps it, uh, makes your floor a lot, lot warmer in the winter. Summertime, my biggest problem is the heat coming from the roof, not so much from the floor. Although a side project that I may look at later, if I can pull the cool air from under the bus in the summer, I might set up some ducting and just circulate the air from essentially the basement up to the, uh, up to the living area. The bus tires stick out just a little bit, which I keep forgetting. One thought was I could take uh, some of the 2x4, make kind of a box frame, and then attach the OSB to that. That'll stick it out a little bit. That might be the better idea. to get a straight line. Yeah, the tire stands it out quite a bit. So we kind of came right up to the edge of the uh, this rail here. It bevels in there. We actually bumped into it a little bit. Reasonably close. There's a gap here because it's like right up to the edge of it. 
I'm not going to waste any time with the weather stripping on here. I might maybe run a line of caulk on that, but probably not. And then down here, and this piece is attached to the 2x4 that's on the back of here. There's braces that run down every so often. So I put a 2x4 up against the brace on the inside, like right there, right? And then it just hangs straight down. So I screwed it through the bracing, basically. And I think what I want to do, same as I did for the back wheel on the front wheel. So I just put another big piece up here, cover that whole opening, and be done. Do a flat piece across the front bumper from basically, you know, just come mid bumper, go down. And it's kind of a diminishing returns thing. So what I'm looking at right now, go across the front bumper and then leave this sort of flexible. I might just take a tarp, but if I ever decide I want to open the hood, like to get in and, you know, steal parts off of that, like I've got a good alternator I could use for a battery charger project, that kind of thing. I'd like to be able to just say, all right, undo a handful of screws, pull off the side plate, panel, whatever, flip the latch, open the hood. All right. I had looked at doing from the firewall going straight across, but that's just a freaking mess because you got engine, transmission, suspension, drive shaft. You know, that would just be a freaking nightmare. So I decided what made more sense is just do a big piece across, cross, boom, and we're done. I just wanted to get a shot of this section so I remember what it looked like later. I wasn't sure what to do with that. I figured I'd just cover it up. Well, that's about it. Thank you so much for watching. Yeah, that should work. Cool. I do things differently. Oh, and please, if you like any of this, it would be really awesome if you could subscribe and click that notify bell. Drop a comment if you have any questions or ideas. Share, like, comment, subscribe, notify. Oh, and Patreon if you're really an awesome kind of person. Thank you so much for watching.